Hello and welcome to another live English lesson. Can you hear me now? You can hear me, right? Can you hear me, guys? Okay, that's great. So, unfortunately, as you know, Last lecture, we uh, faced many difficulties in our connection, and that's why, unfortunately, part of the previous lecture was not recorded. And that's why I did not upload the lecture to YouTube. Uh, I was trying to uh, retain or regain the, the, the lost part, which we couldn't record, but unfortunately, I could not. So uh, I have to record parts of the previous lecture, and afterwards, inshallah, I will upload it to YouTube. And that's why I did not post or send, send you the link of the previous lecture. So today, what do we have for today? We have to study lesson six, which is a quick lesson, in fact. And inshallah, today's lesson will also, all of it will be quick because we will deal with more details in the next lecture. And inshallah, we will make sure that by the next week, we will complete everything about this unit and we will start with the next one, which is unit seven. So we have to rush into the, these lessons. Now, before we study and read anything about lesson six, let us just uh, mention something. So let us read and study some grammatical rules quickly. Uh, I think that you know what is meant by the future tense, right? So when I say the future tense, how to speak or to express uh, something in the future tense? Can anyone tell me? For example, here is this sentence. I am a doctor, or he is a doctor. Now, change this set sentence into a future tense. For example, Yusuf is a doctor. Zainab is a doctor. How to change what to use? Okay, Omar says, I will be a doctor. He will be a doctor. He will be a doctor. Yes, exactly. So, you know that when you want to speak about something in the uh, future tense, something which will happen in the future, you have to use the future tense. And the basic form of the future tense is to use the auxiliary verb, will. So, you say, I will or they will, which is how to express it. You have a subject, and after that, there is the auxiliary verb will, and, and after that, there is the root form of the verb, right? So, as a matter of fact, we have two ways of expressing the future. We either have the construction of will, as the one you mentioned it and we have also another one which is the verb to be which is uh, followed by uh, another verb the main verb of the sentence which should be in the ing form and after that we have the preposition to so the construction becomes be going to like I go, uh, am going to, is going to, are going to, right? So this is another way, 
to express the future. So can you tell me what is the difference between uh, expressing something which will happen in the future using the will construction? What is the difference between the will construction and the be going to a construction? Can anyone tell me the difference between these two? No idea? If you don't have any answer, please tell me that you don't have an answer. Pay attention. We usually differentiate between the two according to uh, the, okay, Sidra says, no, no Sidra. We are not speaking about the continuous future tense. We are speaking the future tense. We are speaking about the future tense. I mean, in general, the simple one. But the difference is that when you want to when you want to use the be going to expression, it means that you have a decision that you made. I am going to. It means that I have decided to do something. Like when you decide to buy something or to go somewhere, you use the uh, construction I'm going to. If you uh, uh, notice that when I start the lesson, I tell you we are going to study lesson blah, 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 right? Because I have a decision and I have a plan for this, so I tell you that I am going or we are going to study this lesson. That's like uh, this piece of text that you see here. Today, I am going to drive my new motorcycle. Then I'm going to, my, uh, to, to phone my best friend. And finally, I am going to read my favorite novel. Uh, this girl here, she has decided to do these things, these activities, right? It's clear, right? So when you use the be going to construction, it is about a clear decision that you have taken. Okay? So what about what else? Here it says, the situation now makes us believe that. Like what? If you check your book uh, at the um, uh, language box at the bottom of your book, it tells you how to use the be going to construction. And it says, it is used to talk about the future when we know for certain what is going to happen. What is meant by for certain? Let me show you the box. Here's the box. What is meant by for certain? What is meant by for certain? Are you sleeping? You are sleeping. That means that you are sure that no, okay, you're sure that something is going to happen. You know that this will happen, okay? You know. You have the knowledge of the... You have this knowledge, okay? Yes, you are sure, yes. Because you believe that this is going to happen. So you use the be going to construction. Just like this here, the situation now makes us believe that something will happen. Like for example, when you see uh, clouds, you say that it's going to rain because the situation that you are in, when you look and see, you look at and see the clouds, 
you are sure that is it is going to rain so you have to use the be going to construction right which we can have i lost the connection can you hear me you can hear me right okay so we can summarize this by saying that it is about predictions with present event evidence what is meant by predictions what is meant by predictions when you predict something to happen what is meant by predictions with the present evidence what is meant by evidence no predictions not productions Omar can't you see the word predictions with the present evidence not productions predictions come on yes Dalal yes predictions with present evidence evidence what do we mean by evidence what is meant by evidence yes so predictions with the present evidence when you have a prediction of something and you have the evidence you use the be going to expression or construction to speak about the future well if you use the will construction that you know it is about decisions at the time of speaking i mean you haven't planned for doing this like here in the restaurant what would you like to drink he or she says I will have a cup of coffee. Decisions at the time of speaking. He is doing what? He, he was, for example, uh, checking the menu and he has just made his decision. So at the moment, this decision is made at the moment, right? So when you make such a decision, and you want to express it in the future tense, you use the will construction. It's a clear, right? Like here, did you call Sue? No, I forgot it. I will call her, I will call her tonight. You have just made this decision at this moment. Is it a clear or what? Do you have a trouble in differentiating between the two clear everyone okay and we also use will for personal opinion and you give you know what is meant by opinion right when you give your opinion in something so i'm a little i'm a little hungry I think I will have a sandwich. This is your opinion. I don't think that I will go out tonight. I'm too tired. This is about opinions. So that's how you differentiate between the be going to future and the will future. Is it clear? Do I have to repeat it? Do I have to repeat it? Are you sure? Okay. Let us just check this other um, list of information concerning the will and the be going. Extra information for your own benefit with examples when to use the will construction for example as we said with 
instant decision. You know what is meant by instant, right? What is meant by instant? Instant. All of us have uh, drunken um, instant coffee. What is meant by instant coffee? Instant coffee. Yes, so instant decision, it means that you take the decision at the moment, as we said. So you say, I will have a cup of coffee and a cheese uh, cake. I have just, it means that I have just decided in the restaurant, instant, right? And as we said, predictions without evidence. I will find the right job one day. One day I will find the right job. But you don't have any evidence. You have not a plan for this. You're just saying it. And if you want to express an offer, like I will help you with these bags. This is another way of using or another uh, need another time that you need to use the will construction and we have also the promise now concerning these two you are not uh, obliged to know them it's okay as I, as I told you these are extra information now concerning the be going to it is used, as we said, for when you have a plan or you have a previous intention to do something, like I'm going to visit my grandma, or as we said, when you have a prediction based on evidence, like it is going to rain, look at those black clouds. I think that it's so clear now. And if you have any trouble, please tell me so we can... Uh, so I can clarify what is not clear. Shall we start lesson six? Shall we start lesson six? Do you have a problem with the future tense? You are sleeping today. What's wrong with you? You're not active today. It's okay. So lesson six is titled, what are they going to be? So it gives us a glimpse about them, I mean these two, uh, having planned for something, right? So, look at these two pictures in, your, in lesson six on page 67 of your student's book. We have these two pictures. What is this? What do we call this bird? Do you know what do we call this bird in English? Do you know what is meant by this? Oh, what do we call, sorry, what do we call this bird in English? You are sleeping today. Yes, Amir. Exactly. It is a peacock. Now we have these two questions. What do they do in their spare time? What are they going to be when they finish school? These two questions are about Hala and Firas. So this lesson tells us to read about Firas and Hala and as to, so that we can answer these questions. But before that, can we answer these questions without reading the text? Just can you guess what do they do in their spare time from the pictures? 
So what do you think that Firas does in his spare time? When you look or and see this picture, what do you think? Without reading the text, you are too slow to answer me today. So, as for me, when I look at this picture, I will predict that Firas spends his time in the zoo, for example. How do they, what do they do? Okay, maybe he takes uh, photographs of animals. And when I look at this picture, I will just think of Hala as being interested in medicine, right? So let us read, uh, we have a newcomer. Let us read these texts quickly so we can answer these questions. Firas is 17. His favorite school subjects are history, geography, and art. He loves animals. Every Friday, he goes to the zoo. He takes photographs of birds and animals. Sometimes he has to wait for a long time to take a good photograph, but he is very patient. His favorite animal is the peacock. Next year, he is going to take his last school exam. If he passes, he is going to go to university to study animals. He wants to be a zoologist. Now, this is about Firas. Now let us read about Hala. Hala is 18. Her favorite school subjects are biology and chemistry. She is also very good at English and physics. She is interested in helping people. She is very kind and friendly. Sometimes she visits a hospital. Some patients have no visitors. Hala takes flowers to these patients and sits and talks with them. At a school, she works hard because she does not want to fail her final exam, her final school exam. When she finishes school, she is going to be a doctor. See, uh, have you paid attention how we used they're going to construction. It was all about something which is predicted with evidence, right? So, on uh, as a matter of fact, tell me honestly, have you read these texts before? Have you prepared for today's lesson? So, you did not prepare for today's lesson. Okay, it's okay, Omar. It's okay. So, if I ask you a question, on which days of the week will Firas and Hala have spare time? Can you answer this question? On which days of the week will Firas and Hala have spare time? Do you have any idea? You have no idea. Because you did not read these two texts you did not prepare for today's lesson unfortunately i am disappointed no the question was on which days of the week will firas and hala have a spare time the answer is thursdays and Fridays, right? So, what is the job that uh, Firas is going to have or to do? It's okay, Omar. 
So what, what is the job that Firas is interested in? What does Firas wants to be? He wants to be a zoologist. What is meant by a zoologist? Zoologist. Yes, Yusuf. What is meant by zoologist? What is meant by zoologist? What is meant by a zoologist? What is meant by a zoologist? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Do you have a problem? Okay, okay. So when we say a zoologist, it means that he is someone I think that I lost the connection, I don't know because I could not receive your messages in the chat section. Yes, I get it. Okay, okay. Now it's good. So when we say zoologist, it means that he is someone who is specialized in the in, in, in animals. Yes, just like you. Yes, yes. I got your messages now. You said Adam Haywan. Yes, that's right. So, what about Hala? What do you think that she is going to be? Someone who studies not which, yeah, Yusuf. Yes, Hala is going to be a doctor. So now let us get back to these two questions. What do they do in their spare time? How to answer this question? We say, every Friday, Firas goes to the zoo. He takes photographs of birds and animals. Sometimes, Hala visits a hospital when... Now, this is the, the answer of... Question one, right? What do they do in their spare time? Every day, every Friday, Firas goes to the zoo. He takes photographs of birds and animals. And question number two, what are they going to be when they finish the school? He wants to be a zoologist. And when she leaves the school, she is going to be a doctor. So I think it's so clear now, right? Now we have um, this word, which is mentioned here just like you find it, just like the way you find it in a dictionary, which is patient. Let us read this. Look at this dictionary entry, which me, which meaning of patient can you find in the text? What do you think to take, pass, and fail an examination mean? You know what is meant, right? By take, pass, or fail an examination. What do you mean when we say take an examination? What is meant by take an examination? What is meant by take an examination? يعني يمتحن. Pass an examination. Not the exam. Take an examination. I, uh, Yusuf, I asked, what is the meaning of take an examination? It means, you are so sleeping today. 
Yes, Omar, when I say pass the examination, it means yinja. And fail the examination. Yes, Basma, fail the examination, yani, you know. It's so easy for you. Now, the, concerning this word, patience, as you see here, we have the word patient with two different meanings. Yes, Omar. We have patient as a noun, which means somebody who is taken care of by a doctor. And you have patient as an adjective, which means able to, we to wait for a long time and stay calm without getting angry. angry. She is very, for example, this is a sentence in which the, uh, there is this word patient as an adjective. She is very patient with young children. And we have patiently, which is an adverb. So let us answer this question. Which meanings of patient can you find in the text? For example, the let us read the text and decide, okay? I will read it. Please read it with me so you can answer this question. Concerning what meaning of the word patient you can find in which text? I will read them again quickly. Firas is 17. His favorite school subjects are history, geography, and art. He loves animals. Every Friday, he goes to the zoo. He takes photographs of birds and animals. Sometimes he has to wait for a long time to take a good photograph, but he is very patient. His favorite animal is the peacock. Next year, he is going to take his last school exam. If he passes, he is going to go to university to study animals. He wants to be a zoologist. Hala is 18. Her favorite school subjects are biology and chemistry. She is also good. She is also very good at English and physics. She is interested in helping people. She is very kind and friendly. Sometimes she visits a hospital. Some patients have no visitors. Hala takes flowers to, the, to these patients and sits and talks with them. At a school, she works hard because she does not want to fail her final school exam. When she finishes school, she is going to be a doctor. Now, the first meaning of patient. Where exactly can you find the first meaning of patient? In which text? The word patient, which means somebody who is taken care of by a doctor. You find this word with such a meaning in text two. Yes, exactly. In text two. And the second meaning of patient, which means somebody who is able to wait for a long time and stay calm without getting angry, you find it in the first text. Exactly. Now let us move to the activity book. We only have three minutes. So I think that we have to end this session now and get back. But before that, please give me your names. Quickly give me your names. Give me your names quickly. Okay, so see you in a minute, okay? Please get back.
Welcome back. So, let us do these exercises. First, exercise A on page, page what? On page 84, right? No, 85. Write short answers to these questions about the first text on page 67 of your student's book. Now the first one. What are Firas's favorite school subjects? You can answer this question. Yes, or you can say, yes, you mentioned all of them, so okay, you can mention only one. So history, geography, and art. These are Firas's favorite school subjects, right? Now, number two, what is his hobby? What is Firas's hobby? And you know what is meant by hobby, right? Uh, yes, just like Dalal said, taking, taking photos, taking, because now you are uh, speaking about this hobby and which acts like a, a, a noun, noun phrase, taking photographs. So his hobby is taking photographs of birds and animals. Now, number three, what do you know about his personality? What is meant by personality? What is meant by personality? Yes, so what do you know about his personality? Now, just like when you say, what is that? Yes, exactly, patient. He is patient, he's very patient. He is very patient. Exactly. So now the other one. What is he going to be? What is he going to be? A zoologist. Yes. Exactly. So now let us move to exercise B. Write short answers to these questions about the second text. Number one. What is Hala good at? What is Hala good at? Yes, we are speaking about the subject. So Hala is good at biology, chemistry, English, and physics. Yes, exactly. Exactly, all of you are right. So she is good at biology, chemistry, English, and physics. Physics. Number two. What is she interested in? Raya, try to speak English. What is she interested in? She's interested in helping people. Yes, exactly. Helping people. 
Now, number three, what do you know about Hala's personality? Yes, what do you know about Hala's personality? She is what? She is very kind and friendly. She is very kind and friendly. Amir, I am asking about her personality. Now, number four, which patients does she take flowers to? Now, this is the answer. This is the question that you answered, Amir. Yes, Raya, she is friendly. She is kind and friendly. Now, number four, which patients does she take flowers to? The patients who have no visitors, right? Just like what Amir said. Patients with no visitors. Now, the last one. What is she going to be? Yes, for those who have no visitors. Yes, exactly. Omar and Zainab who copied your answer. She is going to be a doctor. Yes, exactly. So, here we have something that we predict and we have evidence. So, we predict that Hala is going to be a doctor. And that's why we used the going to construction. Now, let us move to the other one, the other exercise. I think it's the last one. Exercise C. Complete these sentences about examinations. Use these words. Number one. At the end of each semester, I have to an exam. If I get bad marks, I will. If I get good marks, I will. So the first one, at the end of each semester, I have to take an exam. Number two, if I get bad marks, I will. Now number two, if I get bad marks, I will. Fail the exam. If I get, number three, get good marks, I will pass the exam. Yes, exactly. So I think that we finished today's lesson. Next time, inshallah, we will study lesson seven. And maybe we are, will uh, study something, some grammatical rule. And after that, we will finish everything about lesson uh, or unit six, sorry. So next week, inshallah, we will start lesson or unit seven. Omar has a question. What is your question, Omar? I'm waiting for your question. Exercise A. What's wrong with exercise A? Okay, what is wrong with exercise A, Omar? Exercise A number two, what is his hobby? Yes. The answer, if you want a full answer, you either way say taking photographs of birds or you should say to take photographs. Why we don't write, we, you should not say take photographs when he takes photographs. Yes, you can say he takes, yeah, exactly. You can say he takes photographs, but because 
um, as you know that the answer of this uh, question as with all others should be short answers so we said taking photographs but if you want to mention I mean the subject you can say he takes photographs yes exactly yes but you should not say takes photographs without mentioning the subject right so you should either say taking photographs or he takes photographs or Firas, Firas takes photographs of blah 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 clear but you cannot say uh, take without mentioning the subject because when you men as you know and as we studied if we have the uh, verb at the beginning of a sentence so it is an imperative sentence right so when you say take photographs I think that you are ordering me to take a photograph you're more than welcome so any other questions do you have a question do you have any other question okay so as I told you next time inshallah we will study lesson seven and maybe we will rush to lesson nine and ten I don't know but we will try to do things quickly you're more than welcome so I think that we should end this lesson now see you next time and have a good day ahead